Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up the screen. Ah, Eyeless, Mighty Eyeless. Let's see what's going on with one of our favorite companies and also what are the shorts up to. So let's get into Eyeless. All right, let's start out with the week that we had. Good grief. Best week I've had in a long time, probably you too. If you've got any high growth stocks, penny stocks, whatever, they all pretty much jumped. And uh, if you own any China stocks, oh, good grief. You know, like Neo, for example, which I own, and Baba, and uh, a few others. They just skyrocketed because they had crashed. But uh, we'll see how that all plays out. It looks like the Rony Rona seems to be going away here in this country and hopefully elsewhere. I know there's a few uh, countries that are still struggling with it or about to, but uh, it looks like here and in Europe it's not so bad. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's see how the cases are going. Yeah, way down, way down, down to uh, 29,000 seven-day average. That's great. So that's the best it's been since, gosh, back in 2021 in summer. So that's good news. Ukraine, we don't know about. You know, we'll see how that plays out. But I can't think it's just going to go on forever. So hopefully that will wind down over the next couple of months. We'll see. Um, Putin's an asshole, and everybody knows it, and he always will be. And that's my stance. All right, as far as Eyeless is going, let's see. We're sitting at 15 cents. Last time we curved it, I think it was around 13. And I was trying to get it at 12. And I want to talk to you about this a little bit. The place to get it's 11.2. That was the low point. And you can see all the support um, that's right around that 11, 11 and a half cent. But I put it, my buy orders at 12. Reason I've done that is because it's hard to get it at that very bottom. But I don't know if I'm going to get it at all. We may, we may be starting a bull run. We'll see. We've had a terrible bear run over the last like six, eight weeks. And I went into heavy cash because I just got, I didn't, I didn't time that right either. I timed it a little bit late. But I did save myself some money by going into about 40% cash. But I have been buying the last week or two pretty heavy. And I've been trying to buy Eyeless, but I've been being very disciplined. And it hadn't worked out so well. I did buy at 11 cents. But you heard me cry and complain about how I didn't get it into my Roth IRA. And one day I'll stop crying about that. It won't be today, but one day. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I'm going to continue to try to get it at 12. And I know uh, the Alpha Status Stocks guy uh, was talking about 10 cents, which that'd be a good buy too. And I think he's looking at it right here is where he's seeing it. But uh, I don't know if it's going to get down that low. That'd be a great place to catch it. But I'm going to try 12 and continue with that. And we, I, we may never see 12 again, but you never know. But that's what I'm doing with it. Let's see what the shorts are up to. All right, so the shorts are sitting at 30% volume. That's right in between where you would expect it to be because they've been as low as 15. That's when it got down to like 11 cents. And it's been as high as 50 and 60. That's usually when it's sitting at that 20, 21. So that's kind of what's going on there. And actually, I have a secret video of the shorts planning their next uh, move on Alice, and, and here it is. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No sensei. No mercy. Yep, that's them. That's two of the biggest shorts. They're always plotting on Alice in many of the stocks that we cover. But uh, anyway, that's, I think that's an actual video of them. But one of the things that we know is that Alice is going to try to move up to the OTC QB and they are, uh, they've already hired their auditors is what we understand. That's a great move. Here's the thing about penny stocks, and you need to know this. The biggest problem with penny stocks is credibility. You know, if you could trust everything you know about Alice 100%, I'd be wearing it out buying this stock. But it's a penny stock, and the, every bit of credibility that they can acquire and build and, and build up that trust is great for the company. And I got to you know, give it to Nick Link that he's done a couple of really smart things. This OTCQB uplist is a great move. I like the fact that they're bringing in auditors. That's going to make me more comfortable. Number two, well, actually, the number one best thing he did was this. And I like to remind people of this, where Nick Link came out April 5th of last year and said, my holding company holds 390 million common shares, all the preferred A, D, and E shares. We've not sold a share and do not have plans to sell any. Our interests are mutually aligned. That was a great move because if you've bought penny stocks, you've dealt with freaking preferred shares and you know, God almighty, those insiders will kill you with that crap. 
and they're running around driving around in their mansions or wait a minute living okay but they're driving around in their mansions okay just imagine that and they're using their preferred shares to get those mansions and it sucks and it really does and the fact that they've tied these up like that makes me very happy as a stockholder and makes me more comfortable now i'm not going to go crazy with the ilis because it's a penny stock and i'm going to stay in my 10 percent range i never exceed that in penny stocks of my uh, total portfolio but you know that's up to you you do what you want but for me i'm always careful with them but that's a great move right there because you know he's not going to be driving around in a mansion off preferred shares certainly not right now anyway maybe at some point in the future but it's going to be well down the line and it sounds like he'll communicate that with us like I said, it sucks when those preferred shares show up. I mean, those, those insiders will kill you. It I just makes you want to write a letter to them. Right. Uh, darling fascist bully boy, give me some more money, you bastard. <laughs> That's right. Fascist bully boy's taking our money. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look at what's up with Alice. Uh, we know the European deal is what we're waiting on. Nick Link has been in Southern Europe and uh, been working on this deal, and that's where he is. That's our understanding. Um, they're still working on their share reduction. I think the goal now is to get to 1 billion shares, not under, because they had that problem with a little bit of toxic debt that they're hopefully done with. I think that's about driven Nick Link crazy. Uh, we know about all the acquisitions they're working on, the uplist to the NASDAQ with a spinoff in the next three to six months with no reverse split. Very important. The preferred and restricted shares that are being used in acquisitions, and they are restricted for approximately two years, according to J.P. Backwell. We know the water mist technology, and we know the discussions with Tesla and the Vera drones. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because I cover that a lot. All right, folks, and that's an LS update. Now, um, like I say, I don't think it's a bad buy right now, but since I already own quite a bit of stock, um, I'm looking to try to buy it on the cheap. But, you know, that's me. I'm a tightwad. But, uh, you know, you do what you want. But I feel good about this stock long term, and I'm going to hang on in there with it for at least a couple years, I think. And uh, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know to continue to cover Alice. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the channel a chance. I'd certainly appreciate it. And I hope you did like the content. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.